Trump just said that the Chinese president, you know, he said the Chinese, they've been living well too long. So, hey, man, here it is. These other nations, they're starting to be angry. The prophecy is starting to be fulfilled, man. Anybody else? Give me uh, uh you still want this Isaiah? Uh, where you left off at? Uh, with the, like, with the first Thessalonians. No, 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 that's it, yeah. Give me, uh, oh, give me, uh, give me first Thessalonians. Start from the top. Crown. 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 Peace and destruction. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to get all of this. Oh, right. oh, man. Yeah, this, this place, but yeah. Amos 3 verse 6. It says, uh, Amos 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Yeah, it says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid, man. We blowing the trumpet spiritually, man. That's right. In the ancient world, you had physical men all right, that blew a damn fan or whatever the hell they had, and they uh, they alerted the people on what's about to happen, man. Because all the people do that, when you blew that down, that horn, that it signified danger, man. All right? Same way we do right now. We tell you that this place is about to get destroyed. Meanwhile, you people just, you know, just, just shooting the breeze and walking on by, man. Like yeah, oh yeah, mosey and on on. Like ain't nothing about to happen, man. Like ain't shit about to go down. Yeah. Like, like America ain't about to be destroyed. Cause a lot of these people, what they do, man, they, they watch the news and what that do, they they give they, they it upsets them, man. You know what I mean? It upsets them to a point where it, it, it ruins their uh their their it ruins that serotonin that's being released in their mind, man. All right. That, that's why you people, you people are full of it, man. That's why I want. That's right. uh, impending doom is about to come, and you people gonna be asked the hell out, man. All that's be, right. All because you don't want to face reality, man. You childish ass children, man. That's right. That's what Lord called y'all, children. Right. Hey, man. The children says, of fools. Yeah. It says. Sodic children. Sodic. Right. Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, yep. and the people not be afraid? Yep, shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord Yahweh have not done it. Yeah, because these people, man, they're gonna they're gonna question what's going on with their life, all right? And they gonna and they, they don't even know that the most high is a, he's he's orchestrating this, man. Alright? He's behind the scenes just putting together all type of hell that's about to come, man. That's right. All type of shit's about to get ready to hit this place, that's all right? right? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it says and it says, Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? Yeah. Hey man, all kind of evil is taking place in this day and age, man. All kind of uh, celebrities dropping dead, man. Yeah, man. All kind of uh, catastrophic events, hurricanes and yeah, shit, man. man. Earthquakes and whatnot, man. So it's all kind of stuff going on. The Lord is bringing judgment in a big fashion. Yep. And you people ain't taking heed to the signs that you're living in, man. The signs that the times are saying, hey. That's why these people don't deserve what's coming, man. Uh, give, me, give me what you got, quick, car. All right, this is First Thessalonians chapter five verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brothers, yeah. ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come up as a thief in the night. Yeah, the reason why it's gonna come as a thief in the night because these people are they're they're, they're off their rocker, man. They're That's not paying right. attention, and you. They're not paying attention to what's going on, man. Right. Yeah, go, go ahead, Bacar. Continue there, man. Now, For, Dick don't give you no warning, man. He don't, he don't, he don't lead a, uh, you know, he do the bruh man pretty much, man. I think he do the bruh <laughs> man, man. He, you know, he come in uninvited. You know what I mean? He's just there, man. Come in through the window. Yeah, come in through the window. Hey, that's what it's, it said. It said, enter into the house of the people. Yeah, that's right, all right. Real talk, man. Hell yeah. Man. He don't call you and they be like, man, I'm gonna be there at <laughs> seven o'clock, man. That's right, right. Yeah. Don't be there, man, because I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming, man. Hey, if most of when he I actually send your house shot back, man, it's gonna like your house shot gonna like do some instant transmission stuff, man. Just teleport out of the out of the fourth out of the third dimension, man. And just uh, just arrive, man. And it, it, man, and when the Lord come, man, it, like I said, it ain't gonna be nothing pretty, man. You're gonna look at a godlike figure, man. Just in the just in the sky though, Ock. Just all up in your face, man. Go ahead, Bacar. All up in your face. Go ahead, Bacar. It's safe for when they shall say peace and safety. Yeah, these, these people thinking peace and safety, man. Every time on the damn news, man, you talking about you hear Trump and them other and his uh, his, ca his campaign and stuff like that talking about uh, uh, you know uh, do you have nothing to be alarmed about? Everything's on uh, everything's uh, intact. You know, so like kind of hard, hard light how they got the um, U.S. and North Korea at peace. Yeah. Had um, Dennis Rodman on there talking about um, uh, 
Yeah, basically, they, they promise you lies, man. Lies and, 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 and full of uh, uh, fairy tales, man. That's why when 2008 had, had, had hit, pocket. when the economic crash act actually came to pass, these people ain't know what the hell is going on, man. That's, that's because your government ain't, they ain't, they ain't gonna tell you the truth, man. Well, if I was your government and all hell was about to get ready to break loose, why would I? Esau know how people act, man. He know that these people, if he was to inform these people on what's going on, they would start to panic, man. And when people go into a panic, you, you're not thinking rationally, man. All right? That's why Esau ain't gonna never tell you people uh, uh, that, that he's on the verge of uh, uh, World War III and that the collapse is, uh, is, is imminent, man. The word imminent means it's gonna happen, man. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Bakar. It say their sudden destruction coming upon them yep. as travail upon a woman with child. Yeah, man, sudden destruction, man, as a as, as a woman with child, man. That woman with that woman with child, when she when that when that baby, you know, get the kicking in, you know what I mean? The contraction starting to get closer, and all hell starting to, all, all she started to go through all type of uh, uh, labor pains, man. Water break. Yeah, water break and stuff like that, man. Go ahead, Bacar. They And they shall not escape. Yeah, the Lord said you ain't going to escape, man. Meaning, no matter what you got planned, the Lord already got your number, man. If you you a rich motherfucker that can afford a, a, a 357 jet, and you think you won't get up out of here, oh, hell no. The Lord already got your number, man. What's it not? Y'all even might say we'll escape. Y'all got these underground bunkers in the, in the uh, Pacific Ocean and shit, man. Underground bunkers all in diverse places and shit, man. They talk about that in Amos the Ninth chapter, man. How y'all you, niggas uh, dwell it in, in these mysterious places, man. But what? The Lord said a serpent gonna come up and bite y'all, man. You know? Even the even Revelation talk about how y'all go uh, call upon the rocks to fall upon y'all and shit like that, but y'all not gonna escape, man. Yeah. yeah, and those that do escape, those Edomites that do escape, they're they going right, right into slavery. Shack, huh? That's right. They're going right into captivity. All them, the, the ones that's under in them bunkers that can withstand a nuclear blast, all right? Hey, you gonna go right into captivity. You going right into shackles, man. The rich elite. The rich elites, man. Yeah, the rich elites, all right, people. They going right into slavery, man. You gonna be nursing fathers and nursing moms unto our children, man. Damn devils, man. This, this second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Stir up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewell your children and be sorry. Yeah. For your destruction is at hand. And these people, they got no idea. You want to say No, brother, okay. I was just saying, I was in agreement. Like, yeah, he said their destruction is at hand. He said, be sorry. Yeah. You're up for some for sex. Yeah. Because they're supposed to be in a time of mourning, man. Y'all people ain't mourning. Y'all ain't sighing and crying because of the shit y'all dealing with, man. Y'all just going with it, man. Okay. That's why the Lord don't come and destroy y'all people, man. Yeah. That's what doing with you, man. That, 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 yeah. That's why these people don't, they don't, bro, they, regardless of what we saying, when they go home, you gotta understand, like, when they go home, they not going home to no bullshit, bro. They going home to a, a fully furnished house, plush car, you know what I mean? Three car garage. Yeah, three car garage. Like Seven pantry, room yeah, house. Pantry, yeah, all, yeah, pool house. Yeah, pool house. Old ass room, bottles man. of wine yeah, from yeah, con, I, hundreds of years ago. Basement. Yeah, man. As soon as you crack the bottle of wine open, you get drunk off the first sip. That's how good the wine is, bro. Yeah. They going home to a plush lifestyle, so the shit that we saying is not going to resonate with them because look at what they go home to, man. They not going to feel it as, as much as a, a person that, you, that don't got shit, man. That's why when, when the hell come, man, we can't wait, man. The Lord need to humble a lot of people, man. That's These right. people don't fear the most high, man. Never never in history has has there been a lack of respect for the Heavenly Father, man. At least back in the ancient world, man, they, they feared the most high, man. When, when Jonah hopped on that boat with them other uh with them other men, they 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 had they had some type of fear towards the most high, man. And even even other gods, man, they was like, who you know, who God, who you know, who God is it? They was they was curious about. Even though the other guys don't exist, but they was curious about what God, what God's responsible for this, man. These people have no type of spiritual intuition, man. Pineal gland, all the counts of five, right? Spiritual, spiritually uh, detached. Discern. Yeah, discerned, man. Discern. And detached yeah. from the Heavenly Father, man. That's why Lord call these motherfuckers dead, yeah. man. No type of energy in them, man. Right. You walk around all goddamn day with a cell phone in your hand looking like a zombie, man. Zombie. Shopping online, all right? God. Not learning the damn thing. Here it is. You got a you got a device in your hand where you can just infinite knowledge, and you people on fucking Instagram all day, man. Shit is pathetic, man. I even heard a two thirds say that. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, you, that's a shame. He actually came to camp and got rebuked. Hell yeah, hey, man. That's the spirit, though. It's a shame. Yeah, I, I knew him in the world. Get calm. You know, he was saying, he's like, it's 2016. Yeah. Niggas are stupid. Yeah, niggas is stupid, though. And these other people, man. Go ahead, all right. Verse 3. A sword is set upon you, and who may turn it back? Nobody. That's, that's, that's the answer. Nobody. With the Lord God plan for this place, it ain't gonna turn back, man. That's, that's like that's like when you want one. When you shoot a gun, when you shoot a gun, once the bullet leave that chamber, yep. and you can't that bullet can't go back in. That's right, once huh? I throw a brick or something, it ain't no way that they can come back. Yeah, you know? Man. It ain't on the it ain't on once the screen, it, once, it, once it's released, it's released. That's right. Once so it's gonna hit it. Say that. Who can turn it back? A yeah. mighty ar a arrow from a mighty archer. We about to get up in there, right? A fire is set above you, and who may quench it? Yeah, yeah, fire sent the monkey, we will make quit you, man. When Lord had these, these the natural disasters start to happen and them, them chariots start to come back and shoot that fire and ultimately them nuclear missiles, man, ain't nobody, the fireman ain't gonna come put that out, man. It's certain fires, man, where, uh, that, that the fireman can't even uh, uh, distinguish, man. You know what I mean? They gotta have uh, the, 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 the 750 uh, planes come by and drop that red powder stuff. That's because that, that, that water wasn't cutting, man. Plagues are sent a yeah. leaves too hot. Yeah, that's why they use the fire extinguisher yeah. with those different type of chemicals yeah. in there. Yeah. It ain't no water, right? Because yeah. water, that shit just, uh, it, it feeds the fire. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Just that's like right. the brother saying, man. The plagues are sent, that plagues are sent to you, and what is him that might drive it away, man? The most I already spoke that America's gonna get destroyed. Ain't nothing that nobody can do about it, Where's man. Where's my buddy? Your buddy oh, ain't shit. over here, man. Nah. Are oh, you gonna walk through the camera? He cool. He cool. I get it. You ain't, bro. You ain't looking for nobody. Quit fronting, man. All right. We had a go guy. Ahead, I was gonna right. share a beer with. Him. All right. All right. Go may ahead. any man, may any man drive him away? Uh, a hungry lion gray in, the in the wood. We're all gray in the head. Or may any one quench uh, the hold, hold fire? Up. See, see, and that's the card that the, my man yesterday tried to play. That that that, that card that we're, we're all brothers, same, right? We're all the same yeah, we're all the same, same color. color. We bleed, we bleed, blue, we bleed red, buddy. <laughs> nah, fuck all that, man. Now that the the roosters started to come home. the scriptures, there's you know, you know, three three different types of all men. Yeah, we had went to yesterday too. Spirit, man. Now that now that Esau's about to get his ass judged, he trying every anything he can to, uh, to get out his ass whooping, man. That's the right. most side gonna judge you white people, man, which you're known right. about as Edomites, man. That's and right. then we don't give a damn how many black friends you got, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I get five black it, friends. Yeah, I, 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 and then you got you, you Edomite women. I date white black people, guys. Yeah, that, don't mean none that, that don't mean I nothing. That don't mean nothing. Yeah, man, we, we know your hearts, man. We know we know what's in that puny brain of yours, man. You fucking imbecile. His words are smoother man. than butter. Right. But hey, war's in his heart, yeah, man. Because even though, hey, because even when white women right. date so-called black men, they show you what, what their intentions is with them in a movie Get Out. They just use niggas and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they kill them. Yeah. They're like a fucking, uh, 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 a, a widow. Yeah. Uh, a fucking, uh, a black widow. Yeah, the black widow, yeah, a spider, bro. That's the type of characteristic that the white woman got. Yeah. Oh, oh man. There's the movie uh, Tales from the Hood too. I don't know if brother seen that. But that's a spiritual movie, man. And white women only deal with black men to feel protected, but to be feel protected anyway, man. Very street cred. Yeah, cause hey, you talk about what's your benefits of having a so-called white person as a friend. Well, what is they benefits having a so-called is a, a so-called black man as their friend, man? Yeah. Uh, they, they 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 get it's more benefits than you than you think, man. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I know, socket, uh, boy, this is uh, Job chapter 21, yeah. verse 13. They spend their days in wealth, and in a moment go down to the grave. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's what it is. Esau, Edom, man, they spend their days in wealth. Trouble. Like you were saying, they don't, they don't go home to, hey, like the scripture says in Psalm 73, they not in trouble as other men's lives like that. They don't go home to the shit we got to go home to, you know, uh, uh, if, if they're going to feed their children or pay a bill, you know, or, or something along those lines, man. You know, contemplate where they're gonna lay their head at night. You know, they ain't, they ain't going through this shit like that. Man. It says uh, they spend their days in wealth. Right now, where they next meal gonna come from? Right. They ain't gotta worry about. Oh, I gotta send my child to school just so they can eat breakfast and lunch. They ain't gotta worry about that. Right, you got some people. So like, they got some families who go through a situation where they uh, they put their child in a different residence just so they can send them to a better school, man. Esau don't got to deal with that shit, man. They got personal chauffeurs in some cases to pick their children up, drop them off. You know, they'll pay like a nanny, you know, or something like that. And there was a situation where the Jake got pulled over recently on the social media, you know, because he had to eat my children in his car, man. 
And he was taking them, you know, pretty much being like a so-called nanny. Maybe pepper. But, you know, that was his job, so to speak. But I'm just saying.